Now I am going to talk about the November Literary Fest. Now this was something that we did for the first time last year. And for those of you who were not here last year, uh, I'd just like to tell you uh, what is the November Literary Fest, yes? So now we are working on skills, which has been mentioned in performing test in uh, Jesse, uh, in Jesse, uh, right? And uh, all these skills will be showcased in this uh, festival. It is a performance. It is an event designed to showcase our students' skills through an online performance, right? So now skills like the correct pronunciation and clear and accurate delivery. So students, they start off with just speaking as, uh, as if they are speaking to one another. Uh, so we, we have to focus on clarity and the, you know, the, uh, understanding every word. And also when you are reading from a text or a poem, if you're uh, reciting a poem, you have to work towards accuracy. You, you should not put in your own words, right? Uh, the use of voice to convey mood and meaning. This was also dealt with a little earlier that uh, voice is used. Uh, you can use, uh, you can vary volume, pitch, pace, and uh, this is helpful to convey the mood of the piece and the meaning of the piece, right? So these are all the skills which they have been developing in the uh, course of the term, and it will come, oh, it will culminate in a performance. Now, the performance, uh, the student will have to choose from a poem, a prose passage, which is, uh, you know, from uh, a novel, an extract from a play, or a speech or a monologue. And uh, we will be doing all these things. And, uh, but of course, if students, uh, some of them, they want to choose their own, which is, uh, they are most welcome to do that. But we, we can also guide them and give them, we have a lot of resource materials, right? Okay, now, uh, this is uh, something which is a little unusual. Uh, we expect the students to engage with the material and choose something which they identify with or which they feel strongly about, which moves them, yes? And uh, they will be asked why they like this piece. Why have they chosen this piece? You know, what is it about this particular piece that appeals to them, right? So uh, this is something uh, which is very important. Okay. Now, apart from the usual skills, when uh, we are uh, gearing children up for a performance, we have to brush up on these particular things, yes? Um, because they are uh, performing on camera. Uh, this, so they have to be aware of the audience, right? So we focus on voice projection. That means whether you're speaking loud or soft, your voice has to be heard. You have to throw your voice. You aim it at the, at the audience, right? Facial expression. Uh, so facial expression, uh, it, it helps you keep the audience uh, interested. And it also, uh, uh, you know, demonstrates the meaning of the piece, the mood of the piece, right? And the use of physical space. Now, this means that the hands, the uh, they use their hands quite a lot when they're saying poems and also in uh, prose passage, in all performances. Uh, they also uh, quite often use their legs. So they use their bodies and they have to be aware of how much space they have. Like, for example, if I move like this, I'm going off camera, right? So you have to be aware of the frame. You, you have to be aware of your physical space and what you can do in that space, right? Okay, now um, I'd just like to give you some examples of um, some, uh, we had recorded the, the November Literary Fest last year. And uh, I'd just like to give you an example of the, uh, a poem 
a prose passage and a monologue, right? And now in this one, please notice how uh, this is a young performer, but yet he has uh, answered quite confidently. Yes. You chose this poem. Uh, Ma'am, I chose this poem because I think it is very important, and from this we can learn something. Okay. Thank you, Tanush. So well, yeah. do go ahead, Tanush. So he answered quite simply. Earth, day by Jane Yulin. I am the earth and earth is me. Each blade of grass, each honey tree, each bit of mud and stick and stone, is blood and muscle, skin and bone. Okay. So uh, I'll go on to the next thing now. So as you can see, he was a... He, and he, just as I need every... <laughs> yeah, he's very cute. <laughs> Okay, now this is a, a prose passage, yeah, and here uh, I'd like you to observe how the performer has used his voice to show the different characters, and uh, he's also, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a very spontaneous and enjoyable sort of a performance, because he's become totally involved. Krish. Stop, stop, Jezebel boy, call the horse, but he only looks back and cries. Run, run, as fast as you can, you can't catch me. I am the gingerbread man. Yes, so it was from a, a <laughs> common story, uh, a, you know, a, a traditional tale. And he's really brought it to life with the use of his voice and uh, with his movements. Uh, and now the last one I'd like you to look at is uh, uh, from a monologue. Yes, now, uh, now this performer, uh, she's older and she has expressed her opinion uh, quite clearly. So let's have a look. Yeah. Um, this monologue is actually about a um like a king putting a daughter like a just a dad putting her daughter in a tower like rapunzel's but then it was uh, guarded by a dragon and she doesn't want to sit in and wait for someone to come and rescue her so she just leaves with the dragon so this is something right, which is because she's yes. being independent and she doesn't need anyone to come and do things for her right so she's hey. expressed her opinion yeah we just hear a little bit. So. Uh, are you ready to begin? Yeah. Please start. Ugh. It's been 11 years. 11. And still, I am here in the tallest tower, protected by the most dangerous dragon, wearing yet another pink dress, with the same old hair, only longer. It's like nothing has changed. Not Really? I mean, when I first got here, I was really scared and lonely. So I guess I'm not that scared anymore. Okay. So that's just an example. And uh, yeah, so um, uh, we got a very good response uh, last year. And uh, the students also enjoyed uh, preparing for this. The parents were also very happy. And we had, uh, it was over four days. And each day we had chosen uh, a guest. <coughs> and uh, we got a lot of positive feedback from the guests as well. So I do hope all of you will encourage your children to participate in this.